All right, so let's talk about how do we get enough clients? And more importantly, how do you have your consciousness able to accept the kinds of prices for your services that allow you to be financially sustainable? So there are essentially two blocks happening here that the strategy I'm going to share with you will help to solve. There is the inner block of you are maybe a little bit sabotaging your marketing efforts because you don't really believe that you should be charging that much for your services um, for various reasons. Uh, it could be a cultural thing like, oh, healing should be done for free. Or, um, oh, I love this, providing this so much that I would do it for free anyway, so why am I charging people for it? There are many different reasons, inner reasons, inner resistance that people have for charging for their service rather than letting it be a very neutral or accepting of money. Um, people paying you hundreds of dollars per session, for example, um, or whatever sustainable rate you have. So that's the inner block. And then the outer block, of course, is not getting enough clients because maybe you have some weirdness around the price you're charging and they can kind of feel that or you know, your marketing is not good because of not getting into clients. So, so let me share with you a strategy that can help to resolve both of these issues. I call it the tapering strategy. If you look at the blog post for this video or episode, you will see that how the tapering works. You are tapering down, you, you are starting Let's assume that you don't have any network, you don't have any content, you don't have any audience, and you all you do have is a desire to provide a service to help somebody else, to help other people. And you believe that if they work with you, they will probably get benefit from it. So you do have some belief, and I know some of you are still building confidence in the belief you have in your service, but that's part of what the strategy will help you with, okay? Um, some of you are very confident, but you just need more clients. And I think the strategy can also help. All right, so here's the way it goes. You start off with either a free session price, which is free, people can book with you for free. Or if you don't wanna do any more free sessions, then start off with a low price per session that people would think is, oh my God, you only charge that? That's so easy. I can. I can pay that no problem. Whether it's $50 per session or $25 per session or $75 per session, whatever for you is reduced fee that you are very confident charging for and you think, oh my God, I am such a good deal. So that's really the question is at what rate, somewhere between $75 per session down to $0 per session, would you say, oh, I am such a good deal. I mean, people couldn't, I feel 100% confident that people would be getting a good deal at that rate. What would that rate be for you? And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you feel okay sharing that below, you could say my reduced fee session rate would be X dollars, okay? I'm just gonna say $50 as a, as a minimum, or for some of you, it would be $0 because you're just getting started and you do need to build up confidence and really own your uh, ability to provide the service. So. Whether it's zero dollars or fifty dollars, just pick pick one number. And we'll start there. So, you will have. Let's say you want to earn. So the plan, which you will read in the blog post, allows you to go from zero, no network, no content, not, no audience, from zero to six thousand dollars per month, providing your service, which is more than what most of you are earning. I'm pretty sure, from zero to six thousand dollars per month providing your service in about three years. So it's a, it's a gentle plan. Some of you are much more gung-ho and you can do it in a year and a half, maybe. I don't know, depending on how consistently you work and how many hours you are spending focused on doing net caring or doing content and audience building. It's really up to you, okay? 
If you are full time in your business, maybe you could do it all in a year and a half or even a year. I don't know. It depends on, again, your time, your focus and your skills, right? Your existing skills. All right. So let's start off. Let's say you're starting off with $50 or $0 and you want to earn 6,000. So I'm going to say that you should have 10 sessions per week that you should have available. Now, I've talked to some of you and I'm actually quite surprised that you're not willing to work 10 sessions, client sessions per week, and yet you want to earn a full-time income. It's not, it, it, those two things are a bit in conflict. I mean, run the numbers. If, you, if you're only providing three to six sessions per week, how can you earn a full-time income? Just run the numbers. Well, that's George. That's why I have to charge $200 per session. Well, we charge $200 per session, but you're not confident you still have inner blocks with it, or the market says you're not worth $200 per session, or your service is not worth $200 per session. It's you, you are just catch 22. You, you have to start with lower fees. You see what I mean? Like if you have subtle inner blocks that like, yeah, I don't think I'm worth $200 per session. And the market also agrees with you that you're not worth $200 per session. Then what are you doing charging $200 per session? You're not, you should be charging less right now and building up your system. Your system has to believe that, oh my God, I'm so worth it. And as you, so let me explain. Let's say right now you're charging $50 per session. You, your, your, your whole system, your whole consciousness is like, I'm totally worth it. Oh my God, $50 per session. What a deal that people would get from me. And that kind of confidence will tend to show itself in your marketing and the market will tend to agree with you that, yeah, you're a completely a great deal in your net caring and in your marketing and your content, you'll just exude 100% confidence that you're completely worth it. Like, for example, for me, I'm, people pay me 100 at this moment of when I'm recording this, $125 for 25 minutes with me. And I'm like, it's completely worth it. I mean, it's 100%. I'm completely confident. Be, and I'm so confident that I actually am trying to push people away and don't, please don't book with me because I only have three available openings per week for that. So I was like, that's not even part of my business model anymore because most, I just make all my money from group programs and from courses. So the one-on-one -on -one is really just trying to help people out. It's almost my charity rate. I know it sounds ridiculous. I'm charging people 250 an hour for charity rate, but I'm just, that's not even part of my business model. So do you see what I mean? The confidence has to be there, but, but you can't, a lot of people try to fake it till they make it. And they learn from salespeople and marketing people to like affirm that I am worth $250 per hour, or I am worth $500 per hour or whatever it is. And no matter how much you try to affirm it, if you don't have the actual grounded practice of taking that money, providing a service and having people go, that was completely worth it. That was how many more can I book? You need that grounded experience of session after session after session after dozens of sessions where you receive a, a, a particular fee and people say that was amazing that was so amazing then you don't have to affirm your way into valuing your service anymore that's that aff affirmation is very shallow way to try to bolster up your confidence it's it's kind of like you're, you're trying to speak your way into a belief that you actually need grounded experience that you don't even need to speak your way into a belief because you're like, I don't need to say any affirmations. People are paying me and they love it, right? And, and they love it. And at some point, so, so what I mean is, let's say right now you charge $50 per session and you really believe it's such a good deal or maybe $0 per session and you believe that's such a good deal. And at some point of giving, after your 30, 30th session or 20th session or 50th session of, of charging that rate, you'll be like, you know what? I am so, so good at this, at this rate that I really need to be charging more. Like I'm starting to feel almost resentful for people paying me this rate. I need to raise the rate. So like when you start to, when you're on the edge of feeling resentful for charging 50 per session, cause you're like, I'm worth my session, my service. This, the market believes it. And I, be, I believe it. And the market believes that this is worth more Then you're like, yeah, I got to raise it to $80 per session. Then at $80 per session, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I still believe I'm worth, my, my service is worth that. The market believes it. I believe the market believes it. $80, it's not hard to get people to sign up at $80 per session. So that should be your new rate. And then once you have your 
20th, 30th, 50th session at $80 per session. Now you're getting to the edge of resentment that you're only charging 80 per session. You should now be at 120 per session. You see what I mean? So that's how you get your system to be fully in alignment from grounded experience of receiving that fee again and again and again and again and getting feedback from people that this was so worth it. This was amazing. You should be charging more. And like, okay, you're right. I'm, and, and you start to feel on the edge of resentment that my God, I should be charging more because I'm getting tired of charging 120 per session. Now you're at 150 per session and you're like my con your consciousness now coming back to equilibrium and alignment that yeah, 150 per session, that, that's quite fair. That's quite fair. And the market believes it because they're signing up for it. Okay, so you have to have your inner, inner confidence. And then you also notice that the outer market is also agreeing with you because they're signing up for it. So that's how we build up that level of, you know, alignment, like I said, between inner and outer, so that we raise our rates in a very grounded way towards, towards whatever sustainable rate. I'm not going to probably go past I can't, well, I mean, not for a few years anyway, 125 per 25 minute session. I just, I don't need the money. I, I, I don't need the one-on-one -on -one money and I don't need to charge more for it. So it's, you know, it's like a nice equilibrium right now. Um, but, you know, for you, do you need to start at 50 per session or zero per session? I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's up to you. And then, um, Go ahead and read my blog post and you'll see how to, to use a tapering strategy where over time you will reduce your lower fee session, you will increase your higher fee sessions. The blog post will explain everything. But I wanted to, at least in this video, in this episode, give you that encouragement and that understanding of why we need to ground our pricing in lived experience and I, I don't know if it can be affirmed your way there. I just, I see people try it and they just keep sabotaging themselves still. But it's like, you know, anyway. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing you try the tapering strategy. Again, read the blog post so you can understand how it works. So you can try it out. And if you try it out, and if you have a web page where you've embedded the two calendars, the two appointment types, again, I explain everything in the blog post. But if you have tried it out, just like I wrote in the blog post, and you have a web page to share with us, you can then comment below and say, hey, I've applied the tapering strategy. Here is my link. Um, do you want to share it with us? Or if you have any questions, you can comment below as well. All right. I hope this helps. And I look forward to seeing your success stories, your progress updates, and any questions. And I will see you in the next video. I am George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about how do we build a business truly from the heart in, a, a, in full alignment with our conscience and in service to, to, the, to our audience. All right. I will see you in the next video or in the next episode. Take care.